What's up guys, this is Deftone, and I'm about to show you what's going to be viral in the Borderlands 2 community, and that's the Prolescent Weapons. Now, I found this on accident when modding a couple days ago, and ever since then I've been obsessed with it because I've been a huge fan of Borderlands 1 and the Prolescent Weapons, and fighting Cromrax and all that good stuff trying to get Prolescent Weapons. And what do you know? There's this pearlescent color inside the game. Uh, normally it's for mission items, but uh, it can actually be applied to weapons. And within the next few days, you will probably see a tutorial for me on how to create them. I have one up on Seven Sins right now, but it's kind of choppy. It's really not conclusive on some of the things. I found a more bulletproof way of to keep the rarity the way it is. Uh, also, there's another color that was discovered by Ghost of Tap. I guess that's what your name is. Um, anyways, props to you on that, man. Uh, that was another cool weapon color. It's kind of like, a, I guess we call it limescent green. It's not the typical green that you see in the game. It's a real light green. Uh, it's pretty cool looking nonetheless. But anyways, I'm going to show you some in-game footage of these weapons, you know, and what they do. Uh, this one right here I made uh, the blockhead is actually on my imager account. You can uh, copy and paste the uh, BL2 code on there. This one has the Minecraft effect on it, so uh, it has a decent fire rate, you know, small clip size, but it does do a lot of damage. Now, of course, with hybrid weapons, these will disappear in your inventory if you save and quit, but store them in your bank and you're good. So. Anyways, just to show you that um, I'm using normal shields and stuff. I'm not using a B shield, so it's going to be you know, a little bit tougher to kill enemies, prob probably. But other than that, also my badass rank isn't that high. I got a lot of tokens, but you know, never spent all of these. So um, yeah, let's get down to gameplay and see what these weapons can do. And I don't have a class mod either, so it should be interesting. Also does a lot of critical damage, I'll tell you that much. Switch to the pistol here. And they're all dead. There's probably gonna be a buzzard flying here soon. This is has the You're devastating effect. This was legendary. I'm not the legendary, I'm sorry, the Seraphite. You from the inside out. Baby! Calm down. I don't like the actor to see on that one too much. And there's the buzzer. He's probably my least favorite enemies in the game. They're so fucking annoying. That's cleared. So yeah, once again, pearlescent weapons. You'll be seeing this all over the Borderlands 2 community, probably in public games and whatnot. And uh, also, I will not be doing duping requests. Um, if you want the guns, you know, grab the save editor, import the codes, save, load up your game, and 
you know, it's pretty easy. I mean, just, you know, do the tutorial and, you know, get the weapons yourself and mod them for yourself. It's so much more satisfying when you create the guns yourself instead of having somebody dupe them for you. I mean, sorry if I offend you guys for not duping them, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. I hardly ever get on Xbox anymore, so I just play offline with my Borderlands 2 on the PC because it's way better graphics. Uh, so yeah, anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you will be seeing a lot of these weapons go around. And be sure to check my blog um, a lot for the item codes for these weapons if you guys are familiar with Gibbs Editor. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Peace out.